Hey everyone, today we're going to be going over programming resources. A uh, little disclaimer, I'm going to be going over the resources I use throughout my, my journey. And some of these might work for you, some of them won't. Some of these are free, some of these are paid. I'm just going to be sharing what I used. First one is DevDocs. Now DevDocs is probably my favorite resource out of anything out there. DevDocs is a centralized website for all the resources that you need. So you can go and you can get JavaScript, C, C++, Java, whatever you need on it. And even though some things might not be written on DevDocs, it will link you to places where you can find information that you need. So you get this super, super powerful search bar and it will find resources for you. And if it doesn't have them, it will show you other places that do. Like if you're looking for some JavaScript documentation and it's on MDN but not on DevDocs, DevDocs will actually bring up the MDN page within it and it will show you what you need. My second favorite one is Tutorial Point. Now, Tutorial Point is more of like an introductory course into whatever you need, so they have everything you can think of. React, C, C++, Java, uh, I know they have some iOS stuff, some Android stuff, they really have a lot of things out there. The third one for debugging is Python Tutor. Now, the name has Python in it, but it's not actually just for Python. It's got a JavaScript uh, part, it's got some other languages, and what it does is it allows you to visualize what the code is doing. So it actually will set up a bunch of breakpoints and it will take you through the process of your code. For YouTube channels, I tend to go to programming with Mosh. Mosh makes really good straight to the point courses on his YouTube channel and I think he's on some other platforms like Udemy and Pluralsight and all those. Uh, Mosh does a lot of content off of Python, C Sharp, and JavaScript. I know there's other YouTubers out there like Brad Traversy and all those, but I never really went to them to be honest, so I don't know uh, my opinion on them yet. When I first started learning uh, my first programming language, which was JavaScript, I went to the Intro to JavaScript course on Udacity. Now this course, for me, was absolutely amazing and I really loved it, but I know a lot of people really don't like it. So I recommend trying it, but keep an open mind that it might not be good for you and you might just need something else that you understand better. On my channel, I did some JavaScript basics. I introduced you guys into the topic and I made some really cool videos. I'll link them below. One resource that I really love is brilliant.org. Now, if you guys are watching, please sponsor me because I love your stuff. Uh, I started off there learning my maths that I didn't learn in, in college. So my calculus, uh, linear algebra, all of those. And they have a lot of computer science topics. One piece of advice I give, I want to give to all of you is always try and start with the native documentation. So if you're trying to learn React, go to the React website and check if they have any docs, which they do, and it's amazing, and I recommend it. But when I started off and I was doing Ruby, and uh, I went to the Rails website and I went to Rails documentation, I really didn't like it and really didn't work out for me. Most of the time, the native documentation is really good. Well, that's it for today's video. I want it to be short and to the point. If you guys enjoy my content, you can subscribe and you can hit the bell, which notifies you every time I put a video or I stream or anything like that.